Ordinary pocket change? Think again. Take a closer look at the 1995 Lincoln cent. While it may seem like just another penny, this particular coin boasts a staggering mintage of over 6 billion minted in Philadelphia. So finding one, even in uncirculated condition, should be relatively easy. But what if I told you that this seemingly ordinary cent fetched over $6,000 at a great collections auction? This 1995 Lincoln cent, in uncirculated condition, sold for a whopping $6,081.24. What makes this coin so special? It's not just its pristine, superb gem condition. It also exhibits doubled elements on the obverse, making it a 1995 double die Lincoln cent. Grab your magnifying glass and take a closer look at the lettering you could be sitting on a gold mine. Initially, when these coins were discovered, they were commanding prices as high as $300 for each raw example. Over time, however, more examples were found, and the premiums dropped to as low as $20 or less per coin. Nonetheless, the 1995 double die Lincoln cent remains a highly sought after coin, known for its dramatic doubling, visible even to the naked eye. Don't underestimate the value of your pocket change. You never know what hidden treasures you might find. What an unusual and irregularly shaped five cent piece. Despite its odd appearance, this nickel fetched a staggering $3,600 at heritage auctions. Introducing the 1942 S. Jefferson nickel struck on a silver dime planchette graded in Mint State 63 by PCGS. This coin is a scarce off-metal error from the short-lived War Nickel series. The coin features the lower half of the date, confirming its striking year as 1942. The San Francisco mint mark is complete and nearly touches the upper border. Struck nearly flush with the collar die at 12 o'clock, the lower half of the obverse and upper half of the reverse are somewhat out of round. Additionally, E Pluribus Unum is almost entirely absent. If you ever come across an error coin like this one, remember, do not spend it. Its rarity and uniqueness make it a valuable collector's item. Here we have another seemingly ordinary modern scent that recently sold for a lot more than its face value at a Stax Bowers auction. Introducing the 1983 Lincoln scent with a double die reverse graded in mint state 64 red and brown by PCGS. This coin is an impressive guidebook variety with a widespread on the reverse legends and on the horizontal lines of the memorial. The doubling is bold enough to be seen with the naked eye. Um, while the surface is not fully red, it is mostly well preserved from contact. However, the main distractions are the large carbon spots on the reverse side and plating blisters on both sides. Despite these imperfections, this red and brown piece was still able to fetch $264 at the auction held on April 24, 2024. The Business Strike 1982 Roosevelt Dime should bear a P mint mark for Philadelphia or a D mint mark for Denver near the date on the front side. If you have one with a missing mint mark, then you have a valuable and relatively rare 1982 No P Roosevelt Dime. If it's in uncirculated condition and displays full bands on the reverse side, meaning a fully struck torch, then you can potentially make hundreds of dollars from the sale of such seemingly ordinary pocket change. This particular 1982 no P dime was graded MS67 full bands by NGC. The coin is in uncirculated, lustrous, sharply struck condition and free from contact marks or other large distractions. It was sold for $1,080 at Heritage Auctions. Check out this stunning uncirculated wartime penny. It's one of the finest known examples out there. Steel scents like this one are some of the most sought after Lincoln scents among collectors and they've been popular since they were first issued. Despite being readily available in mint state, most steel scents exhibit spotting and marring, um, which can detract from their overall quality. The 1943 S penny in particular is rarer than its 1943 and 1943D counterparts in mint state. Even though over 100 million of these coins were struck, they're still relatively common today. Interestingly, many collectors saved thousands of mint state examples, leading to a large number of certified coins in the MS-66 and MS-67 grades. However, coins graded MS-68 and higher are quite scarce and rare. This specific coin is one of only five MS-68 plus graded specimens at PCGS, and it fetched an incredible $19,200 at Stax Bowers auction. Get ready to be amazed by this incredible error variety. 
It's a 1965 Roosevelt dime struck on a 90% silver planchette, graded AU55 by NGC. This error is one of the most sought after in today's market, and it's easy to see why. Picture this, a dime made of 90% silver, a composition the mint stopped using for regular dimes in 1964, struck with 1965 dated dies from the first year of regular issue copper nickel clad coinage. The result is a coin with a fascinating mix of history and rarity. While you might notice a slight softness of detail along the left obverse and upper reverse borders, the rest of the coin is boldly struck with bright, brilliant white surfaces that still retain mint luster. This unique piece was sold for an impressive $5,520. Behold the 1973 S-clad Eisenhower dollar, a modern rarity with a unique twist. This coin shows evidence of being multi-struck, with at least two die impressions visible, and all strikes occurring out of collar. Despite the expanded planchette beyond the normal rims, the design remains well-centered and sharp. A linear strike-through in the left reverse margin adds to its distinctiveness. This proof gem, graded PR69 Ultra Cameo, boasts brilliant and dramatically contrasted features. It was sold for an impressive $3,480 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for joining us on this fascinating journey through rare and valuable modern U.S. coins. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share it with your friends, leave us a comment below about your favorite coin, and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing numismatic content. Until next time, happy collecting!